Today, a little bit of a different video. We are going to get in the car, jump on the road, drive four hours all the, mo all the way almost to Detroit, and we're going to check out one of the nicest reef tanks I think I've ever seen, ever. The reef tank of Bon Bon. This is Bon Bon's reef. It is packed with some of the most beautiful, healthiest, colorful, expensive cinerias, acanthophilias, torch corals, flower pots, gardens of just, it's just an overall dream tank. She's going to share with us her secrets, how she keeps this tank going, and her passion for the hobby. And I cannot wait to share today's video with you guys. This is definitely one you guys need to watch. The tank is amazing. The plumbing's amazing. Her husband's a plumber. Everything is just done the way it's supposed to be done. Take out your notebooks and let's get into today's episode of Fragbox TV. What's going on? We turn are on the, here. Can you turn on the bon Bon's Reef. You can find this on, you're probably following her already, on Instagram. What's the Instagram handle? Bon Bon's Reef. I really like that. That's cool. It's going to turn on in a second. Check this thing out. It's probably one of the nicest mixed reefs. Well, really it's LPS dominant, if you think about it. It is a mixed reef, but one of the nicest, fullest, just some crazy craziness in here. We're going to get into the corals, but I'm going to try and start with what she's doing to keep it like this because I get so sidetracked with the ADHD very easily and we'll talk about the fish and the corals. Number one question because I always forget, what are you using for salt? Fauna Marin. Fauna Marin and who makes this tank? I thought it was a reefer, it's water not. Box. Oh, hello water box. Is this an Infinia? I don't remember the... I know they don't make it anymore. It's, a, do it's a big water box, 160 gallon? Yeah. Beautiful. And how old? It is about a year and a half old. I feel like a police officer asking you, do you know how fast you were going? Is this car registered in your name? And why did you decide to go with Kessels out of all the lighting choices out there? I love the shimmer. And it was, it was um, the first light that I ever had on my first reef tank. Yeah. The, the big ones, the big, uh, it was like a big Kessel. This should just be... This is free advertised, free marketing for Kessel if you guys are watching. I think really the shimmer is unparalleled. I it's the best shimmer. shimmer. Yeah, I love, I, shimmer. I love shimmer too. Some people don't. They don't like, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say shimmer, you see the way the light is bouncing off the corals? It looks really natural. Like if you go out in the water, that's what you see. And these are the Kessel A360X. Yeah. Boom. Have you ever done a par reading on here? I have. And? I do it about once every six months. So it's about 110 on the sand and about 225 near the top. Wow, just perfect. Okay, a couple more hardware questions, then we're gonna show off some of these amazing corals. I can see in the corner, I spy with my little eye, a Neptune auto feeder. Does that mean you have a full Neptune under here? I do. And some MP, it looks kind of light for flow. Now that I think of it, what are you running? Uh, I think you get the flow off yeah, for us. Oh, yeah. but just, yep. just two MP40s. And there's two at the back as well. Oh, they're so hiding. Four MP40s. Who did this rock work? You know what? I can't take credit for it. Oh, okay. Because uh, I was going to say, it's not that you can't skate, but it's it's amazing. I had a friend help me do the transfer. His name is Joe. He's from Windsor. Hello, Joe from Windsor. He if you're down. watching, good job on the rock. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. I really like... I asked him to come and help me, and he's like, stand back. I'm doing it. I'm like, done. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's yeah, unusual. I like the up here too, right? I like and then, how and then that's... you get the little blenny hiding inside. You see him in there? Dark it, one, the eyelash blending. But this is an unusual way to do it, like kind of towers. That's not typical. You would see maybe arches. I like how Arch that eight. one is so There's, far this back. One's, this one's a nice arch, but it's it's hiding. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's unusual. It's weird, and it works. It looks super, super natural. What a beautiful job. How old's the tank? A year and a half. The reason why I'm asking all these questions is because I think people out there want to always know your secret sauce you know how do I recreate something like this at home that's why I ask a million questions so it's a year and a half but it's transferred from a tank that was four years old okay you took all the water and and everything out of there yeah all the water the only thing that was new was the sand yeah wow. that's a good idea you should never how, reuse your old sand how your viewers do you should definitely know that I, Don't reuse old I sand. wanted the tiny tiny sand like I the super fine stuff oh yeah it is really fine it's, is this aquaforest I don't remember the name. Uh, it's only available in the state, so I had it shipped, and that cost a fortune to have it shipped. But it was, to me, it's worth it. It looks great. How do you keep this thing so clean? There's no algae. 
anywhere. A good cleanup crew. Yeah. I see some urchins, a couple starfish, some nice big fat healthy things. Your fish we are got, just... We got a nice big conch down here hiding, Oh waiting. man, what is this grass? Blue box? No. That's an orange back fairy grass. Oh, guys, if you don't know, Patrick here is the fish, fish god standing in the background. He can name all of these by Latin name, I'm sure, with his eyes closed. That would be hard because his eyes are closed. But they look super healthy. What are you feeding them? They get a mixture of about probably 13 different foods a day. Oh, someone That's really, good. you can tell a lot of love goes into this. This does not happen by accident. You don't just wake up and this get thing, one of these. Work. Can, this this is, is, yeah. People always ask, is it hard to keep a reef tank? It's time consuming, but time. I love it. Yeah. It's discipline. Yeah. It's discipline. discipline. Those yeah. are good words. Discipline. Energy, money. Yes. It's not a lot of work now and, and no work later. It's it's a constant amount of work on a regular basis. Do you basis. have to do a lot of work, sir? No. You just have to eat algae or 13 different types of food she feeds you every day. Yes. What a nice life you must have. Look at this gem tank. The, the fish are just perfect. Um, and no aggression? You don't have the tanks fighting with? Like these two get along? Yellow and... They do. There was a purple tang in there as well. Was. He had to get rehomed. Oh. Uh, he was... Uh, a bully? He was causing some problems. Zebra soma, that's yeah, it's just a common issue. They're just gonna fight. But the rest of them, it feels actually like you're a little bit lightly stocked. I feel like you could get away with more fish. I always thought it was heavy. What do you think, huh? I think you could definitely add more fish. Yeah. Actually, yeah. You know but what? I mean, Don't listen to us. So, like 25 more anthias at least? Sure. Yeah, yeah. No, well, well, see what your ORP is doing. Because as long as your ORP stays at a reasonable level, you could go okay. with more. Just gotta but that'll give you a lid. good indication if you're, if you're tipping the scale who, too much. Who made the lid? Reefin ain't easy. Reefin ain't easy. Oh. Yeah, these are nice legs. Beautiful look. Reefin ain't easy. Looks really good. Okay, what's going on under the junk here? Fun part. Oh boy. Wow, there's a lot. This is pretty intricate. <laughs> Patrick would be happy to see Nio skimmer. Well, it's not on. That would help if it was on. It? No, you don't need it on. <laughs> These skimmers are more for show. You just put one to, uh, say, okay, to yeah. say, hey, I got a Nio skimmer. I've been having some problems where it just constantly keeps overflowing. Like, I don't, every oh, half well, it's how, how long has it been off? Are you feeding like bacteria and stuff? Since this morning. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just got a trident. I don't know what's yeah, in here. Yeah. Oh, this is a wastewater container for the trident. I like that. Look at yeah. the very nice use of the water bottle. Calcium, uh, not calcium, CO2, CO2 scrubber. Yeah. I'm trying to keep the pH high. I like my pH above 8.4. I don't know. It's just a thing that works for me. Yep. Nice. And then looks like full apex dosing with the DDRs. What are you using for supplements? Fauna. Shout out to Fauna. This is a Fauna, Fauna tank. Fauna salt, Fauna foods. Okay, min S and organic and what's the other big one? Uh, Amin or something? Amin. Uh, a refugium, but not really being utilized. Or is it a refugium? No, I can't keep any type of macrophage How come? That's I have no idea. Thousands of dollars in acanthus cyanide. <laughs> no problem. You flower pot heaven, sure. Macro? Potato? No. Can't. No, I can't. No. You know what? You can't have it all. I'm sorry. Wow. I like what you've done. I like how this is mounted up here. What are you running? Some GFO? Carbon and GFO. Look at that. Tumbling beautifully. So cool. Actually, you know what? It's it's not that complicated. It looks complicated. Maybe from someone it's, who's... It's a lot of the basics in here. It you is, yeah. Carbon, phosphan, protein skimmer, filter socks, some CO2 scrubbing, and some dosing. More importantly, water change or no water change? 10% once a week. 10%, you heard it. I'm a big believer in water changes and I'm happy that uh, someone else is also on the wagon. There's ways to do it without, but obviously whatever you're doing, do not change anything. Is that a big UV? That is a big UV. Oh, damn. Massive. 57 watt something? Yeah. Oversized, but that's good. Yeah. Maybe that's why the fish look so great. And uh, I like that camera. Does that hook up? <laughs> yes, it so is. So you can watch them when you're upstairs in bed? Just make sure everything's running. The there's two, there's there's two under here as well, so you can see what the skimmer is doing. Oh, no you can see way. What the, the, uh, all the other stuff's doing. What cameras are these? I, I love this. the Wise cameras. Oh, I need to get some of these. And they, what, hook up with Wi Fi or something? With wi Fi, yeah. That's smart. Yeah. Uh, how do you water change? Where's the bin? Is Easy. Got... My water changes. There's my drain valve and my return valve. So is turn you, off the pump. Are you a plumber? 
Who did this? Uh, my, my husband's a plumber. Oh, husband's a plumber. Yeah, okay. So we turn off the pumps. Fills, you know, closer to the top. Close the return, open the drain, goes right into the drain. That's perfect. And then there's a hose at the back that's plumbed into the wall, into the ceiling with fresh water. So no so buckets, no hoses. So your hands never have to get wet. And I do everything on my phone. Literally oh, everything's Wi-Fi. That's the dream <laughs> setup. That's the way it should be. Not everyone has um, husband plumbers or wives, but if you do, and they're not, they haven't set this up for you, tell them to get to work. <laughs> that is perfect. Or like maybe you could pick up a side job so I can get more coral. Exactly. Here we go. We'll, we'll trade plumbing work for coral. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in here. I don't know where to even start. Maybe from the left and to the right, or do you have a favorite piece? Can you have a favorite piece? Is that even possible? She just wants to say that all of these corals actually came from Fragbox. They all came from Fragbox. Not all of them, but yeah, maybe this one. that's a special one. This one's a... You guys can go back and watch um, the video when we imported it direct from Indonesia. I actually picked this one out. It's so cool from the other side of the world, and then now it's here. That's pretty neat. There's a lot of cyanarias, and I guess no aggression, huh? None. Look at that. Right up, well, that's cyanaria. Cyanaria and acanthos. A acantho against endophilia, yeah. and it's just an orgy. It's just a party of coral. And then again, no issue with these, even flower pot. That purple one seems a little aggressive on the pink and yellow gani. And that's it. But, but it seems to be okay, like the oh kind of retract their own. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it retracts a little bit. What but it seems is okay. this? That one's crazy. So is that little one in there? They're all crazy. Oh, see, I always go back and forth with Gani. High flow or low flow? Medium flow. Medium flow. Direct feeding? Do you spot feed any of these? I don't. But you feed the tank, so then I guess I they get. I spot feed the torches in the acantho. Mm. All the LPS at the bottom about once a week, but the Ghani I don't feed. Oh my god, I see one Zoa. <laughs> Look at that, a little scrambled egg. Actually, I feel like you just ordered a couple little Zoas recently. I have are you branching, are you getting bored of LPS? Are you getting into the Zoas? I like to collect Zoas. Come in to the dark side. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the secret area. There's a, there's a couple little utter chaos over here too, and some Rastas. Look and... at these hammers and frog spawns are just absolutely perfect. Everything in this tank is perfect. There's no algae, there's the no dying coral. The are amazing. What do you do to your, your euphelia when you bring them in before you introduce them to the tank? They always get a KFC dip. So amoxicillin, Cipro, Chemiclean, uh, iodine, and uh, what's the other one? The Restore hmm. from Bright Lock. Awesome. You should I'm, do that, especially with the exotic torches. Yeah, I think you have every known torch variety in here. Can you name them? None of them. Oh. I don't know the names of any of them. You got that? Are you guys listening? <laughs> Forget about the names. Just buy the ones you like. I, I okay. Ultra, ultra, ultra rainbow. That's yeah. an ultra, ultra rainbow. That's also ultra, ultra, ultra. I think that's tiger torch, no? That's no, tiger torch. Okay. That's tiger torch. That one I can tell the difference. But then the rest of them, it's even for us, you know what? It gets a little confusing. Which one's a dragon soul? Which one's New York's Nyx? Which one's, you know, Toronto Raptors? I, I, we get lost in the names. Oh, yeah. Buy the ones you like. And these are just fantastic. Again, I think every possible color combination of meaty LPS. Cantho, Cyneria, yeah, every everything that you can possibly I get. really like this one. The green one. Yeah. It's green not it's not like the most striking, it's not a rainbow, it's just different. Just different. It's different. Yeah, okay. I think once you start to see it all, weird ones like that really stand out. This is really nice too. Just beautiful. Did you, you want those pallies in there or those came by accident? Oh, those came by accident. A little bit invasive, huh? Yeah, I don't know what to do with them now. What are the future plans for this thing? It looks like you're pretty much full. Oh no, I see a spot there. One, you have one spot for one more coral. And then after that... I don't know. Bigger? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe probably just, just enjoy it. Probably just, just going to give it some love. Just say, I beat reefing. Yeah. I win. I did it. You know what? If anyone has ever won, it's definitely this tank. I can say <laughs> that's how you win. That's how you win reefing. Now just water change, enjoy it, and feed the fish, call it a day. Oh, I like that fly. Oh, he doesn't touch the any of the corals? The hawk? No. Falco? He seems to be okay. He doesn't perch on any of them, bother them? No. Nope. Such a cool fish. Lots of personality. Tons of personality. And I've had him for at least 10 years. I like that least. stupid face too. He looks almost like a like a villain. In a Marvel movie. Bandit. Yeah. Some glasses on. 
This really is just the perfect reef tank. Um, yeah, what else could you add? What else can you do? You have every piece of equipment. It's just stunning. Just really, really nice piece. Does the, does the family like it? Do they come down, hang out? The kids love it. They it's must. like when it's, you know, kind of late, but you're feeding and the little crabs come out and the little shrimp come out. That's what they like, the little, the little life on, the, on this sand. Dude, I don't think they'll ever understand what a nice reef tank. This is their yeah, benchmark what they have quite. for reef tank. You don't need to go to Ripley's. You don't need to go to the ocean. That's it. It's all this here. Is much nicer Ripley's, than Ripley's isn't even fun anymore. No, you Ripley's know, when you go is there, not, like, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you, you see their tank and you're like, meh. Their anemone tank is pretty nice though. The anemone tank, the anemone tank, tank, tank. The jellyfish tank is my favorite. I'm, yes. I'm the curious. jellyfish tank, I would, I would, if I was a millionaire, that would be my headboard. I'm so curious maybe. how you water change this thing. Is this like a bin or something? Or? I can show you. Yeah, yeah. let's see it. Uh, Exit. Out. Lido? Lido. Well, you should be up here. I thought it was called Exitro. You should, you should be over here. You can like put there's, a scraper. There's the intro mm -hmm. and talk, the talk about something Exitro. About. What is there to be excited about? It's an ugly tank. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Take, take it down. Top, mm, top three nicest all time. And guys, I see a lot of tanks. Actually, you guys see a lot of tanks because you follow and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, there's a little ding a ling a ling We're going to have a feeding as we exit tro the video today. If you want to see more of this tank, you can check it out on Instagram. Bon Bon's Reef also should be called Queen of LPS Corals. That would also be fitting. Or Queen of Healthy Tangs. What are you feeding them, Nori? Yeah. Julian Sprung, what up? Love it. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Fragbox Sea. Thank you more to Bonnie for letting us into her house. Um, if you guys are as brave and you want me and Patrick to come comment, con critique, and hang out with you in your home, <laughs> shoot us an email. It's fragboxcorals at gmail.com. Maybe we'll see you on the next episode at your place of Fragbox TV. Thanks for watching this one.